Good evening, I'm Mark Lane. Here's what's making headlines from across the county as the new school year approaches. The CDC announcing updated guidelines when it comes to COVID-19 in kids. The CDC has removed its test to stay policy, meaning kids who are close contacts of someone testing positive for COVID-19 won't have to take regular tests and test negative to remain in class. Also gone social distancing recommendations like keeping classes separate and people six feet apart. Unvaccinated students and staff no longer need to quarantine if exposed to COVID-19. The U.S. Attorney's Office has unsealed a 28-count indictment against former local Congressman T.J. Cox, the indictment revealing allegations of wire fraud and money laundering. According to court documents, Cox was allegedly involved with multiple fraud schemes targeting companies he was affiliated with and their clients and vendors by creating off-the-books bank accounts and moving the money into the accounts through, quote, false representations, pretenses, and promises. Cox faces 15 counts of suspicion of wire fraud, 11 counts of suspicion of money laundering, one count of suspicion of financial institution fraud, and one count of suspicion of campaign contribution fraud. According to the Fresno County Sheriff's Office, he was arrested and booked this morning. If convicted, Cox faces a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison and a $250,000 fine just for wire fraud and money laundering alone. Now to the bear visiting the parking lot of a store in Lake Isabella for a day. Officials from the Kern River Conservancy saying the animal stuck around because people kept interacting with it. This is video of California Fish and Wildlife arriving this afternoon and tranquilizing the bear. We spoke with officials from the Kern River Conservancy who told us the cub arrived Monday morning at the parking lot of a local grocery store in the area. However, it refused to leave because people kept giving it food. The Conservancy saying people were also taking selfies and dancing with the bear. Officials saying those people were very lucky, saying no one should ever interact with a bear if they see one. Definitely hot today. Heat wave number three underway here in Bakersfield, and it's staying hot for tomorrow. 106 in Bakersfield, but you see all through the Central Valley, triple digits. Hot enough that actually we have a flex alert issued for tomorrow. So the state, that statewide heat taking a toll on the power grid here, and that could be the case for a couple more days because our highs really aren't dropping too much. Through about Saturday, we're going to hover right in that 105 range. Looks like we do cool down a little bit towards the end of the forecast. Mountain communities here warm, but not as bad. 90s for Tehachapi, excuse me, in Fraser Park for the next several days. Right around 100 for Lake Isabella. And we still do have those small rain chances for northeastern Kern County. Brandon, thank you very much. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest updates anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com.